for today, I'm going to be removing the old steel flex coating that's on the bottom of this boat. I'm gonna get my pressure washer and take all that off and apply a new coating. Uh, currently what I'm doing is I'm draining the motor oil out of it. And that is because I am going to be tipping the airboat on its side in order to actually, you know, take all that off and scrape it off and do whatever I need to do. And if you're wondering why am I doing it that way, why, why can't I just un unscrew a few, bolt, few bolts and take off the cage and the motor? And that's because I tried. I had about two hours. I uh, removed all the bolts, everything. And it is just a pain. The way this thing's built, it's built like a tank. And it is a pain in the rear. And the amount of hours in order to take this whole cage off and everything would be just way too much. So I'm just gonna do it this way. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people's not gonna like uh, this airboat being on, on inside, but what can you do? All the oil's coming out. And uh, I actually put new oil in here and it's already black. It must have been, I guess, uh, dirty in there. So actually, I didn't use my tractor. I got it out and um, actually just two people could roll this thing really easily. It's on inside. Um, nothing's broke or anything. We didn't uh, push it over really hard, you know, but it's it's on inside really good. But uh, here is the old steel flex. Gonna scrape as much as I can. Well, I guess I could just use a pressure washer and see if I could get all this off. So yeah, let me do that. I'm actually gonna get the pressure washer and uh, all this should just uh, peel right off because it's already coming off. So the pressure washer isn't doing as best as I thought it would, so I'm just getting a paint scraper and I'm going to scrape um, as much as I can off and I guess I'll run it over again with the pressure washer and whatever doesn't come off I'm going to have to sand off it looks like. So I was thinking to myself, why not uh, go to Harbor Freight and pick one of these up for 20 bucks and some of these scrapers and see if that works better because by hand it's gonna take a, a pretty long time, but I'm thinking with this, this should take it right off with no, with no issues. So I'm gonna give that a shot. All right, so I'm gonna give it a try. Let's see uh, how it does. So it doesn't perform as I actually thought it would. It is taking it off, but as you could see, it's uh, not doing that good of a job. So maybe, I don't know if I should change uh, the scraper blade to something else, but as you guys saw, it's not doing that great. So the easiest way that I found to remove the old steel flex off of the boat is using a torch and a scraper. Uh, right now I'm heating it up and I'm going to get my scraper and it'll scrape right off. Now let's take my scraper. like that so what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm going to be actually prepping the surface I am going to be using a hundred grit sandpaper have my sander down there gonna sand all this down and the edges uh, then I'm pretty much gonna get acetone wipe it down clean everything tape it down and I have a steel flex 2000 that I'm going to be applying on the bottom of this boat So I just finished taping the whole airboat. Now I'm going to be mixing my steel flex and I'm gonna be applying it right on the bottom of the hull. 
So here's the product that I purchased. I'm going to be mixing one quart of this. And I did choose uh, the black pigment color. I'm gonna pour it in here, mix it together. I have my brush to get in the tight spots and I also have a roller that I'm going to use on the bottom of the airboat. So let's do this. Here comes the color. Gonna mix it in there. So now I'm gonna be putting the part one resin in. Gonna mix it up and gonna brush it on there and use a roller. Hopefully uh, that goes pretty smoothly. This is my first time doing it, so we'll see how that goes. So it's the very next day. The steel flex is dry, but it needs to cure for four days. So I'm gonna let it sit here. My plans for it next is I'm going to be polishing the hull and on top also, cause it's all aluminum, gonna make it shine. And I want to paint the engine, the cage. And if anyone locally, I live in Florida, in Pinellas County, if anyone has a prop uh, that'll work for this, uh, please let me know. I'm looking for a cheap uh, used prop laying around. So it's getting close um, to getting this boat on the water. It's getting pretty exciting and um, hopefully I can finish it, finish it up soon. So please stay tuned for more videos on this airboat.